Colin. Kevin, I love you. Did, Co- did Kevin not buy yet? Hello? Oh, I know he's an investor. He needs a buy. He needs a buy. We're going to send it to every investor. Hello? Hello? Yo, who's this? Yo, Colin, what this up, man? Colin. It's Gary. Gary, what's up, man? Life is tremendous. Thank you for supporting empathy with your recurring case order of empathy. Oh, Dude, I'm not. You will not believe this. I'm like laying in bed and I see you go live and my wife is about to go to sleep and I'm like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that, like I got, I've, I've already been meaning to buy wine anyway. <laughs> and when I saw you go live and say that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the opportunity that I've been waiting for. Dude, I have been a huge fan of yours. Not, not much, I'm saying years, bro, like years. And uh, it, it started when, uh, Really, a part a business partner of mine. I used to have this little coffee coffee company, a little subscription company. And my business partner sent me a sent me a video of yours and said, "Dude, you need to watch this. This guy reminds me of you." And when I started watching your stuff, I was just, "Oh my gosh, yes!" It just clicked. I'm like, "Yes, yes, 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 yes." And so now my entire my entire family is asleep. So like, I'm walking around in my garage trying to like be as quiet as it's like. It's like crazy, but um, but man, no, I mean, really, I just want to, I just want to thank you, dude. I mean, I've been following your stuff for years, and we've had like a couple of like brief exchanges of me like reaching over crowds of people to have you sign my book down in Tampa during a dude, startup that week. Dude, Tampa last year. event was fucking crazy. Dude, it was crazy, right? Dude, I literally <laughs> felt like Andrew Dice Clay in 1987 in that theater. That D Rock, were you with I, me? Iris, you're right. Dude, that, tell, like, honestly, I feel like that was one of the most, that, the energy in that theater that night was fucking out of control. It was insane, man. Like, I, uh, I don't, that was like the, I've never seen, I mean, and props to you, because I've just never seen an entrepreneur be like rock star status to that degree. Like, I mean, it was just, the crowd was just insane. No, dude, and just honestly, on fire. Like, honestly, like, I'm living a, like a wildlife and like have like my level of micro internet fame. That night in that theater, like I felt like fucking, you know, like literally like a comedian at the height of their career. That's why I used Andrew Duck. Like it was, it was Eddie Murphy Raw. It was fucking like Chris Rock when he wore that black suit. It was like Kevin Hart, right? Like it was like the energy in that room was like, it was different. It was like a, it was like a stand up comedy celebrity vibe more than like a business keynote. Don't you agree? Yeah, I was very much like, oh my gosh, Gary's about to be like mobbed, like literally. <laughs> like everybody was rushing to the stage. And to the mics. When I thought, when they said, okay, like everybody line up for questions, I thought the, oh my gosh, like the yeah, line, like, I thought the mic, the, I thought people were going to get like seriously injured running for those microphones. I agree, man. Listen, well, keep going. Anything I can answer for you? I'm just glad we connected yeah. like this. Yeah, man, me too. And I just, uh, I just really, really appreciate everything you've done. And what are you going to do with the wine? Cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to drink it. I got to tell you, last year, see, I've never really been a wine drinker. And last year, so to give you a little bit of background on myself, I own a, I own a Vespa dealership down in Gainesville, Florida. So, like, we've, we've made, like, motor scooters the way to get around college yeah. campuses and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And, and so I have a Vespa dealer. Vespa actually flew us out to Italy last year. And, and I went to go, like, to where the factory and – and, you know, I'm like, we're going out to dinner down in Italy. And I'm like, oh, man, like, I don't know. Like, they're like, oh, just drink wine, drink wine. I'm like, oh, I don't really like wine. It always gives me a headache, blah, blah, blah. And that's because they're like, well, that's because you drink shit wine. And uh, <laughs> and so we ended up drinking wine at, at these dinners. And, yeah, I just fell in love, man. I was like, this is so good. And, Dude, like, uh, so like, we, like, like, once you get the wine bug, for real, like, it's really funny to watch people, like, flip from, like, super not interested to, like, you have that one bottle of wine, you're like, yo, whoa, what the fuck? Like, it's really one of my favorites. <laughs> Obviously, I grew up in the industry, so I watched a lot of 20-year-olds who were my friends, my contemporaries, my homies, like, make that flip. What's really interesting is, I'm a big fan of sour beer, and I think sour <laughs> beer is actually an incredible gateway to wine as a palate play. So, like, watching sour beer explode has been really exciting to me because I'm like, uh, I see a lot of reactions here. It sounds like Babin's finally bought. Bab, let's clap it up for Babin. Finally, <laughs> Babin. I mean, literally, About is the creative. Time. Babin, Babin's damn. literally the creative direct. Like, like we pulled Gat, we pulled Babin out of the gutters of fucking Florida, and the guy can't buy fucking nine bottles of wine for our family. <laughs> but thank God he finally did. 
<laughs> fucking guy. Hey man, I'm, I'm like in Florida. Come on. Hoodies, no problem. But like fucking supporting the family, no chance. No yeah. support, family babbin over here. Well, hey man, look, I do, I have, a, I do have a question that I want to ask you that I don't know if you've ever been asked before. It's like it's a little bit more on the technical Let's side go. though, uh, because we, because I do a vlog, I do a vlog. You know, I started doing a vlog and really documenting my journey down here, and it's doing really well. I also have a podcast too, and. The thing is, like, I see sometimes where you guys will like blur out people's faces, or you yeah. know, like, are you getting are you getting people to sign releases no. or doing your blog? Nope. Okay, so when people like when you like bleep out, you know, numbers or something, like one of your four Ds and that kind of stuff, like, is that because they requested it, nope. or is it because? I mean, once in a blue moon, once a blue moon will post game, but like ninety percent is our subjective call. D Rock has a good flavor, you know. Babin was great at learning. Dustin, a new crew, like Caleb, like they're starting to learn. D Rock's kind of watching a little bit. Like we're, we're learning. I mean, look, we had a week about a month ago. I'm looking at Andy and Dustin. We had a week about a month ago where like three different pieces of content caused us some headaches because we didn't like blurt everything or the context was lost or the way we titled it. So it comes with the territory, but the answer is no. So do you have to go back and take that down or? Like yeah. what do you do I mean, in that we, case? We take it down for a second, blur out or whatever, or beep out or edit out and repost it, <laughs> right? Okay. Yep. All right, cool. That's it. Well, I gotta tell you, man, like I have on my long list of goals, if I accomplish all my goals this year, like my reward to myself is to come up there and do a 4D. Dude, so, honestly, uh, on a very a serious note, that now it's in the Sasha group, not VaynerMedia, the 4Ds, I mean, dude, Dude, it's fucking crazy, right? Like, so the price is going up, right, to 12K? So 12K from 10K. Oh yeah, by the way, empathywines.com slash barter, or it's like, just Google Empathy Wines Barter. It's on the top of by the way, the the Trouty's trying to steal some cases here. This is an inside joke, not an inside joke, this is an inside secret most people don't know. You can actually barter on Empathy Wines. If you buy $12,000 worth of wine, you get an Empathy, you get a 4D seat. So like literally you can get $12,000 worth of fucking wine for free. <laughs> That's I know. awesome. It is super awesome. Actually, we have to close that. That's fucking ludicrous. You're getting the benefit for no fucking reason, you two fucking jerk offs. <laughs> like, you're hurting like Vayner's revenue. Yeah, it was my idea. <laughs> Dude, anyway, I can't wait to see you. I'm gonna be in Tampa soon. We just signed, I don't know if you're following Vayner Sports serendipitously, you like sports, but we just signed Tampa Bay's running back, Peyton Barber. So I promised his mom that I'd come down to a a Bucks game, so I'll be in Tampa. Yeah, for man, so I'm a Buccaneer, reason. dude. Of course, I'm a Gator in Gainesville, and then dude, you know, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Your running back team. is with, dude. Peyton Barber is with Vayner Sports. Excellent. Yeah. So anyway, thanks, bro. Okay. Talk to you soon. Hey, man. Real, real quick. One last thing. One last thing. Bob Memory. Go ahead. All right. All right. Hey, so I have a podcast on here. It's called the WHOA GNV Podcast. I'm not going to ask you to be on or anything like that because I definitely, but I, is Listen, there any way to get like you're, a, If you're being smart, here's what I, let me give you a pssst recommendation. You can go to Empathy Wines Barter page, submit a certain amount of wine bought to get me to be a guest and no joke, when I'm desperate to sell 25,000 cases, this is how I get tricked. All right, like I just, I don't have the money for that. Right, but, I get it. But like, I just want like a selfie if video. Buy, or If you buy, if you go on Craigslist and buy laser discs, you can buy for, exchange $5 of water for $6,000 worth of laser discs. I don't know if you've been watching for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the flip life Wait, is yeah. real. I don't understand all the, I, I don't understand how people don't know that the flip life, like if you have $10 to your name, the fastest way to get to 10,000 is the flip life. Yeah. Do you want to Dude, flip? I've been, your, your, your stuff's crazy, man. I've been watching all those flip videos. <laughs> like garage selling. Yeah, I mean, Dude, of course I want to flip. Have you watched Trash Talk? Yes, I've watched all of them, man. It's insane. Dude, Bob Memory, like, my favorite. Dude, big shout, real quick, I apologize. What? Bob Memory, who has one of the great Instagram accounts where he goes crazy voiceovering what? sports clips. I don't know if you follow him. Dude, you have to follow him. Bob Memory. He's the voice okay. right now of the Buffalo Wild Wings commercial during March Madness. I saw that. I knew it was you, you knew it was him? <laughs> he just posted in the comments, Nora, he wants 15 cases. Yeah, you, you guys need to be paying attention. Dude, I'm like, I'm walking around my garage like I told you while you're saying this, trying to figure out what I can sell. Dude, yeah, like look at your garage, dude. All that felt, shit like, you're literally. looking at right now is fucking sitting there in horse shit. If you fucking hustle and like, like just list it, 
Dude, dude, everybody who's, all the fucking 10,000 people that are watching right now, literally 80% of them, because I don't make assumptions, 80% of them have $1,000 worth of stuff in their home right now. 80% have $1,000 worth of stuff on eBay and Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and Mercara that they don't use ever again. Easy. There's, there's Easy. at least three thousand. There's at least three thousand in here from stuff my kids don't even use. Dude, you have three thousand dollars worth of shit <laughs> in your fucking garage. Now, what eighty well, percent like, of the you, you know what it's like? Is have a yeah. garage sale and sell it for a hundred bucks. Man, two kids. To fuckers you know, like me kids, that make yeah. sale for three thousand. Dude, did you watch the trash talk where I bought the fucking Olympic pins for twenty bucks and sold it for like $3, so like twenty five hundred bucks or something? Yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. Of course, I don't like, hear but, shit from anybody who needs five thousand bucks because you need twenty dollars in America to get the five thousand. Twenty dollars in an education on the flip life. Carrie, <laughs> uh, you're awesome, man. I love, I love you, you dude. Back. Thanks I love so you much back, for everything Thank you, you do. so much. All see right, ya. Go ahead, Nate. Rob, I'll answer something so real quick. <laughs> dude, I'm getting drunk. I can feel it. I think it's gonna happen. Thank you.